Hey you guys, hope you're all doing well. I got something really impressive that I want to share with you guys today. This is an organic growth stimulant by Organic Rev. I've been using this product for a few weeks now and I've been loving the results that I'm seeing in my transplants and especially for a few of the plants that have been having trouble getting them to green up for the, I think, almost two years now using a handful of products. They were working a little bit, but until I got this applied on it in just a matter of a week, I saw what a life-changing difference for some of these plants. So I gotta tell you guys what this product is. In fact, the first time I used this product was on camera with you guys. I'll put the link down below to show you that video. It was a tomato that I was transplanting and it's that plant is looking amazing right now. So I know that this thing has been life-changing for some of my plants for these few weeks, but how is this going to hold up long-term? That's why I've partnered with Organic Rev to do this episode and uh, we're gonna do this experiment on the tomatoes since you know we all love growing our tomatoes in the garden. Believe it or not, this bottle only contains one ingredient and that is 100% organic humic compounds. And that is naturally occurring form of carbon, humic and fulvic acids and microbials. What this liquid does is to help your plants take up nutrients a lot faster and easier. That's why I can see results as fast as just in days. This thing, sometimes I'm like, it works like magic. The way I picture how this works is that, let's say I gave you all this good stuff and then there is a gate as the barrier. So you can't go out to reach these goodies, these nutrients until you have the right key to unlock that gate so that you can get out there very easily to reach for those nutrients to use. And I think that is the idea of how this product works. Hope that makes sense to you. Organic Rev is derived from North Dakota and Northern Minnesota at what it used to be a glacial lake Agassiz. When this lake drained 10,000 years ago, this is that really good stuff that was left there. It is truly impressive to me that Organic Rev and their university research partners have sampled research from all over the world for over 20 years now trying to find the best one and nothing came close to the deposits that were found at Lake Agassiz. You can find more information about this product on their website. I will put that link down below. Right now that you understand how this product works, let's get to planting. This one is a Paul Robinson Russian variety, medium sized tomatoes, and I'll be testing out on all the indeterminate tomatoes. That way we'll be able to see how well this product can help, you know, the, the plants hold up the fruits and such. The Russian varieties usually would be able to grow better in a little cooler climate or they don't require as much light. So a lot of tomatoes I will be planting in the part shade area. Once they get tall enough, they're going to get mostly full sun. But for now, they're going to get, um, I think from noon to a little bit of, uh, of afternoon sun. I think that would be really great for them. That's why I've chosen this variety as well. So yeah, I'm gonna put two of this um, variety when uh, soaking the roots for using this product and then the other one without. Another variety that I'll be testing out would be the black strawberry cherry tomatoes. This one would be without the solution because I already got uh, one in another bed, the same variety of tomato using um, the product as a root soak. Finally, one of my favorites of all time, Sun Gold. It would be interesting to see how, how well it would do because I did start all of these from seed and these you can tell they definitely need to be transplanted ASAP. So uh, this one is starting to stress out a little bit. It'd be interesting to see how well it would respond using the Rev. So I actually have three of these plants. So I would do one without the soak, one uh, as a root soak and the third one I will try it as a spray. The first experiment I'll be doing is the root soak. That calls for 50-50 mix, so 50% this and 50% water. Ooh, it is smelling strong. It doesn't, it's not like super stinky though. It, it's definitely organic. <laughs> I'm gonna start with half a cup. Half, half. So 
water. This is filtered water. I'm going to dig as deep as I can because you, you know, you can really go deep with tomatoes to encourage more root growth in the stems. I had turmeric here before, so. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got turmeric. Good thing I didn't break it. There it is. What do you know? That's my turmeric. <laughs> this thing is not root bound yet, but it definitely needs some more nutrients. Just gonna go ahead and do the soak. I'm gonna give it a really good soak here. All right. This is my bucket of worms. And compost was my worm casting compost. Right there. Hey, you guys. So I'm just gonna grab like a handful of this worm casting and compost. Put it right in there. And in it goes. Good luck. Just going to remove these stems these side shoots. Just going to keep it really tidy. That's how I'll be able to plant more in a small space. All right, let's move on to this next one. And now I'm going to do the spray. It's the same ratio. It's going to be half, half. And then I'm just going to pour it in the spray bottle. It doesn't have to be exact, but I'm going to approximate. So approximately a cup. Shake it up and it's ready to spray. This one is just going to be in the shade for a little bit until it grows past the ashitaba. All right, next I'm going to apply the spray. And it's very simple. All you gotta do is literally spray it on here. Careful, the stuff is really, uh, really dark really rich so you don't want to get it on anywhere you don't want it like your clothes I'm doing a root spray instead of soaking because I'm hoping that if it works this is really going to be a great way to stretch out the product I'm just going to remove these yellow stems Let's just make another one of these. Thank you. Although this was the main stem, I'm just going to cut it out just to be fair. 
so that each plant will have one stem. Especially this one is flowering already. Of course, I'm going to keep this one. Let's plant the other Paul Robertson here. Okay, here we go. Organic Rev is a soil conditioner that helps to aerate your soil. So it's going to help everything that you put in being even more effective for the plants. So I'm going to put some nutrients in. Rev consists of carbons, would help your plant food and fertilizers work more effectively. Humic acids will improve water retention and your plant foods like vitamins and minerals, making them more viable for your plants. And the microbes would help process nitrogen. And what makes this product special is that Rev consists of tiny particles that would allow your plants to absorb the liquid much faster, making it work faster, more efficiently. That's why when I did the spray on the leaves of the curry plant, I could see drastic results as fast as a week to two weeks time frame. I could see the difference. Whereas other products, they do work, but at a much slower rate. As you can see, everything that I've mentioned are essential for building a strong root systems for your plants to develop and thrive. So we're going to plant out the last tomato today since it got too dark yesterday to film. This is the black strawberry cherry tomato. I already planted one on the other bed uh, doing the root soak method. So this one I'm going to do without any rev at all. I'm just going to plant it in with the, the worm castings that I have here. I'm using straw as a mulch to help protect the soil and the microbes and to retain moisture. But my favorite way to mulch is actually using plants, any kind of trailing plants as a living mulch. Until I figure out what kind of plants I want in here for the lower portion of the bed, I'm just going to keep these here for now. The next thing I'll be doing is to build a simple trellis to structure these tomatoes in this small space. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for updates so you won't miss out on that episode as well as an updated episode to see how these tomatoes are going to be doing. So good luck to my tomatoes. Good luck to you guys and your garden. Thank you Organic Rev for sponsoring today's episode. If you guys want to try out this product, they actually have a free sample on the website. You just need to pay for a small shipping cost. I'll put the link down below for you as well as my website for plants and seeds. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you right back here in the next video. Bye.